Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome to our co-op Let's Play on Attila Total War. With me is officially Devin. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's new Total War game time. It Indeed. better be good, because I'm expecting very good things from this game, actually. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited for it now. My so... morale is high so far. It's, it's got a great main menu. All of the <laughs> options worked really well. Except when I alt tap or you two as well, um, when we alt tap the image <laughs> in the background oh, stops yeah. moving, which is yeah, great. Yeah, it's got a, a Rome 1 esque main menu with the silhouettes moving in the background in sort of the same color scheme as well so it's very Rome 1-esque yeah but it, yeah it doesn't quite work when you alt tab but <laughs> that is not a problem with the game per se no. right so uh we are playing the franks and saxons as they won the vote that we did uh, about a week back or so only just though yeah very yeah, close call only about five votes or so uh in front of the visigoths and ostrogoths but um maybe we'll play them next time who knows I anyway, uh, so the Franks, I guess I'll just go over my traits and you go over yours. I have Integrity, uh, minus 50% penalty from casualties suffered. Mm. Um, so Integrity is a new thing in Attila. Uh, basically, it's like how morale, or sort of how morale, it, it, it's not a substitute for morale, because there's still morale for each unit individually, but it's like the army's morale overall or something, isn't it? It's just it's just a bonus. It's basically the public order mechanic is now also applied to armies. Yeah, so yeah. your army has public order, but it's called integrity. Right. And it works in the same way, so it goes up or down a certain number per turn. Yep. And instead of giving you tax income bonuses, it gives you morale bonuses, based on right. what it is. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then I have melee damage plus 10% for every 25% casualty suffered by a unit. So the lower my men are, I guess, the more damage they'll start doing. Which well, is, that's uh, quite interesting. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty cool. It's like a berserker sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, building conversion rate minus 50%. So that doesn't mean that that means mm. my buildings uh, are made 50% faster or are they... I guess if you capture one of another culture and then you convert right, it to okay. the barbarian version, it will only take half the time it would have for another faction to do it. I also have that same trait myself, so uh, maybe that's, that's just our, something. Um, yeah, that, because our we're... Faction. Um, for a culture-wide bonus. Yeah, exactly. So my other ones are plus four integrity when raiding, so I'm going to have to do a bit of pillage to improve my morale. And the other one is plus 100 income for every 10% damage caused to settlements during a battle. Ooh. So it seems that I can make some cash by just bringing some catapults into a random siege battle and blowing everything up. Yeah, and I'll sounds get a, good. Up to a thousand gold <laughs> if I can destroy everything. <laughs> so the that thing, the thing I wonder with those, uh, with, with that sort of thing, is that like once you take over the city, won't you have to repair all the buildings the anyway? Is, yeah, it'll cost more than one thousand <laughs> to restore <laughs> the damage. So it's possible that this trait is completely useless. We'll find out Indeed. <laughs> as we go on. I also quickly mention that I am a little bit ill, so I might um, sound no a bit <laughs> sound a, a bit depressed or something. But I'm not at all. I'm actually quite. <laughs> we're excited. really enjoying the game, guys. <laughs> I know it sounds like we're trying to kill ourselves, but that's a completely unrelated reason. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, uh, are you ready to get this show on the road, Let's I guess? Let's do it. I mean, sure to note we're playing on hard difficulty. Oh, yeah. We will do Legendary <laughs> eventually, I'm sure. But uh, for now, uh, because it's our first campaign, we may as well start with hard. The air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Great hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war.
Interesting. Is it, is it done? I, th I think the, the message I got from that cutscene is that Saxons like killing people. I wonder if and we that... uh, got a different cutscene. I mean, mine didn't work, obviously, but um, I wonder if I were to. I imagine it mine. could have been the same one because it didn't mention Saxons specifically. It just said, it says, like, our tribe hates the Romans, essentially, and our, we like killing them. It's right. fun. Okay. Well, I've made it onto the campaign map, so so far the game works to some extent. It only crashed once each for each of us. <laughs> on well, the mine way didn't actually it. crash, but it's like because the first time it played the cutscene fine, the second time, it um it just it showed like two frames and then it stopped and it showed another frame and then it stopped again. So I was like, screw it. And then I could press escape and it worked fine. Well, I could just continue onto the campaign map, but anyway. Oh so wow, you, I start with three now? armies. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here. Very good. Um, so you want to continue on from here, or are we already continuing on? Well, we've already continued. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Okay, cool. Let's play some video game. Indeed, this game. So the question is, are you at war with someone, so shall we immediately begin a campaign? It looks like you could be. You've got all these uh, armies standing okay. around. How, how do I check all this stuff? Uh, let's see. Diplomacy, that makes sense. Right, yeah. I am currently not at war with anyone. I'm trading with uh. you. Wait, no, this is a military ally, sorry. I am trading with... Um, Wait, what's this? Okay, it doesn't say who I'm trading with. It just says their symbol, and I don't know all these symbols yet. Uh, okay. That's oh, wait, well, the Western Roman Empire and uh, the Al Alamans. Okay. So that's Colonia Agrippina to the south of your capital. That's a Roman territory. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, I just I need to quickly go over all this stuff, because obviously we haven't played this game before. <laughs> this is going to be the most boring intro. How do you play this game? <laughs> Indeed. Um, it's basically right. Rome 2, but with bigger icons. It looks quite nice, actually. I do I like it. These, these pictorial icons rather than the symbols they had before. Right, so our co cooperative victory conditions are loot or sack 10 different settlements. So, I mean, we have to loot or sack. That's interesting. Control 80 settlements yeah. either by direct ownership or through tributary states and military allies. Currently yep. Two. Uh, research 16 technologies, excludes cooperative allies technologies, so we have to do 16 each, I guess. Yeah, we can do that. Maintain control of the f following six provinces, either by direct ownership or through tributary states and military allies. I guess this might be different for us. Uh, I don't know. It seems like they're all pretty close, though, just to the south uh, and towards Spain, but still in France, so that's fine. Uh, and together with your cooperative ally, maintain 400 units in total. Okay. That sounds like a decent bit, but it's probably doable. Yeah, we can do this. Um, We're veterans of Total War. <laughs> Victory conditions mean nothing. They're just going to be falling like grass before our mighty scythe. I'm actually going to turn my audio up because it's pretty damn low right now. Um, so yes, as I was mentioning earlier, before we recorded, the uh, the unit descriptions when you mouse over things have been replaced with just a, uh, I don't know. a description. If you, um, if you press the plus, I don't know, I don't know exactly. All oh, right, so you hold down, you click on the ah, unit, the and then plus. yeah, ah, I see. So that gives you the actual numbers. Yeah, exactly. Can I leave that on permanently? I wonder. Yes, I can. Okay, that's more like it. So I've got some uh, Germanic Levy, some Freeman, some Bose, and Salian Frankis Lancers. I do like the unit cards. They're obviously a lot better than... Uh... Yeah, much improved. Yeah, and the, the generals look like Rome 1 generals again as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, they're basically going back to room one and going, why does everyone love it so much? So apparently the biggest army I've got is actually my my navy, or one of them anyway. I seem to have... Uh, oh, sorry, no, we have one is an actual army that's sitting on um, transport ships right now, and the other one is actually yes. an army, or an actual navy with uh, an app. Mm. Interestingly, I also have that navy. The one west of where your navy is is mine. Oh, right, sorry. The lightning no. Lidus. Yeah, I was so looking at strange. that one. I thought that was mine, but it's not. Oh, really? <laughs> Damn it! I Bullshit. thought that was my biggest uh, army, but it's yours. You ain't getting that. <laughs> it's not even that. It's not even mine. No, I, I think the game is basically saying we should invade Britain. I think that's the hint it's giving uh, us. Yeah, giving us these I can fleets. support you um, if I can. Uh, like, if you want to go for Camulodunum. Uh, well, I was thinking of going actually for the one at the top, at Boracum, because it's worth twice as much. Well, I was gonna say because um, I, I like mine is an actual navy, not an actual. Um, uh, like no, not army. a transport. So I was going to say I can blockade yeah. the port and then you can attack it the next turn okay. or something. But, Let's um, do that. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll Let's use teamwork. That. Yeah, already. push towards victory. Okay, so let's have a look at our minute or um, our tech trees. I'm assuming you can do the same at the, the same time as well. 
Yeah, I can. His first turn is going to take a little bit. One regional defense force. Which uh, just all right. tiny recruitment cost upgrade. Yep. Uh, so yes, the tree looking much better than in Yeah, Lone this G. is way actually, better. Although see what's going on. I don't this is really like... what it should have been like the whole time because it's what it used to be like in the old Total War games. And I do. I don't like though that you you have to get the entire first. Um, actually, you may not have to. Someone said that you have to. No, you don't. Never mind. I was gonna say you have to get the like entire first uh, tier before you can get to the second tier, but that's not true at all. Although someone said that, no. it's not. I think, I think you just you just get a bonus if you have everything. Yeah, in yeah, tier. exactly. You get bonus, but, but you, don't have to. you just have to follow the arrows to go towards your exactly, yeah. desired thing. This is far better than the first game. It or, looks uh, like the, it, the later technologies appear to cost money as well. Like I can get combat at a distance, but it costs ten thousand gold. Really? Where where is that? It's sort of in the the middle of the third oh, tier yeah. of military. Heavy cavalry tactics, ten k. Combat distance, ten k. Wow, that's weird. Let's save out some cash. Um. But you it unlocks like better units, I guess, as well, because I get noble Germanic horsemen that replace Germanic horsemen and Germanic yeah. night raiders that replace Germanic raiders. Probably worth doing. Indeed. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll do the same, and I'll just go for regional defense force for now. So what, hold on, let me quickly check the civil ones as well. It unlocks a whole lot of buildings, some wealth and such, construction costs, reduction, right? Okay, the, it seems a lot simpler as well than than it did in. Um, in Rome 2, in my opinion. In Rome 2, you have to, like, think about a lot of things. Um, uh, like, you, ha you had... I don't know, there was just so many things to consider. So many different kinds of wealth, although it seems to be the same in this as well, but... Yeah, it has a whole wealth from agriculture, and they have to pay attention to, okay, my bonus is plus 10% wealth from agriculture, which regions actually have agriculture as their main basis of wealth, so... Yeah. Although it's not, ter it's not terribly easy to find out that information, which is what makes it most difficult the to <laughs> actually do. Because you have to go through and, like, manually add things up by looking merit. at all the cards of every building to work out what exactly the source of wealth for a region is. Yeah. It's a little bit inconvenient. Okay, so I'm just trying to get some uh, trade going with the Danes, but they're not that interested. Nor will they marry their daughter to me. <laughs> Lame. Assholes. Those Vikings are probably going to harass us, because, I mean, they're, like, stuck at the top of the map, so they're going to have to come down here eventually. Yeah. And, uh, so they may end up being quite inconvenient. Looks like we'll be the most likely for them to attack us. Well, I'm going to get the angles to... Uh, Support me, because that was our historical Same ally as the Saxons. Let us talk, and how let about us some of this? this? A trade agreement. No oh, it actually tells you how much it's worth without having to mouse over it. Yeah, how I like that. Convenient. I will accept your trade agreement, good sir, as a sign of good faith. Good. We are allies after all. Greetings, Wait, what? for life. I, trust oh, I hate you this guy. <laughs> Fine. Why do I always accept these? Damn. I'll play your goddamn game with you. All right, and I got some more trade as well. Looks like that'll be that for now. Um, what else have we got? So, you should attack that place with your navy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanna, navy, well, yeah. It'll I mean, be great. I still have buildings to upgrade and all that. Okay, so what's this? This is a torp. Um, a torp. <laughs> Don't like the sound of that. Substance, subsistence, 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 subsistence. <laughs> they get subsistence, but let's just pronounce it however you wish. Um, right, I can upgrade. This no, I need a militarized society, so I can only get a clay pit here, which just gives me money from industry. Okay, so I'm not going to upgrade any buildings yet. I do have one undeveloped land that I can upgrade, but it looks like this um, Flavum, my province uh, capital, is yeah. well. I mean, that my only um, pro uh, province that I have, but it belongs to your. Uh, I say yeah, you're town. in my my area, so yeah. So I think I'm going to migrate shots. and uh, leave leave this. Um, I'm not going to upgrade Flavum too much because it's part of your uh, or your town. Anyway, so. <laughs> oh, I see. You wouldn't want to upgrade something that I'm going. To <laughs> no, get I mean, because... if I could, if I could give the town to you, I'd gladly do so. But sadly, I cannot. Anyway, who's this below me? Is it the Western Roman Empire already? It's the, the the goal is the Western Roman Empire, as is Britain. Yeah, so I right. think it's all fair game. Oh, Let's God. just take it all. Yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, start attacking them soon. Right, yeah. so first of all, I'll, yes. I'll do that. Uh, we'll attack um, Camulodunum. Making this attack an act of war. Declare war! Yeah. Oh, that's it. also the Western Roman Empire. Interesting. Yeah, Romans are just everywhere. And they've probably got no forces anywhere, so you can just sneakily steal all these settlements. You can also see when you declare war and stuff, you can see how people feel towards... Like, I can see how you feel towards um, me and how you feel towards uh, You can't tell me how I feel, man. 
Anyway, I will call you to help since. Very well. Oh. Yeah, I'll join in. Words have been wasted. Okay. Oh, and uh, the Time will the Eastern Roman Empire didn't join <laughs> against <laughs> me. That's good. Suck it, Western Romans. All right, what have they got? They've got nothing. Very good. Okay. Can we see their garrison force? Locating! Oh, I could even take this myself, but I'll leave it for you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Saxons took Britain historically, so we have to recreate this. You right. can have stupid oh, Europe. Everyone hates Europe. Yeah, I'll probably go north then and start taking uh, some of the uh, the, the, the uh, Viking uh, forefathers out. Oh, uh, yeah. But first, I'll take uh, this first province in Gaul, I think. I need to get a, an est like this establish a place that I can... Uh, start working from. Well, however, though, Angulus is a province that belongs to the same, or is a, a region that belongs to the province that we both have something from. Yeah. So would you want to keep, or would you want to have Angulus, or should I just take it anyway? We do have the same culture, by the way, which well, is Well, I'd be very offended if you took it, because <laughs> that means I can't make an Anglo-Saxon alliance and truly recreate history. <laughs> oh, this is this is about making our own history. <laughs> the, our own history. <laughs> Fine. Screw um, the angles. <laughs> right, let me just quickly check. Okay, I can only make Germanic Levy and Germanic Band right now. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do either of that. I'm going to go and attack... Um, actually, let's move right here. Move out. And then I'll... All? Put these units in there. It's going to be like nothing defending Agrippina, so you can probably just storm it. Yeah, probably. Let them go! Here we go. All right, yeah, I'll nothing there. That. Actually, Yonk. I mean, eh, I, it's the first battle. I kind of want to fight the first battle, you know? <laughs> well, what is it? It's just one unit. It's four. <laughs> four units. Do you want to fight it just because it's the first battle? All right, let's do it. Yeah, destroy the enemy. The game's definitely going to crash, by the way, but oh, let's God. do it anyway. <laughs> oh, let's shit. see. Crap. I will spectate your battle. Let's see what happens. Come on, don't crash. Woof. Made it into the first loading screen. Okay, good. That that all that's a good sign. Do this. So what have they got? What They've got the... some some heavy looking infantry. Look at their their um, some... their uh what do you call that? Um, their captain. His name. Oh, they're very racistly. Yeah, they have a very racist leader. What the <laughs> hell? God, these guys. Well, that's just to inspire us more to kill them. Damn bigoted Romans. Their racism. Oh, <laughs> Not like us barbarians who kill everyone equally. <laughs> no, no. Not like us at all. Interesting, by the way, I can only set up on one side of the river. I can't set up on the other side. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, I like that. Although it's kind of odd yeah. because the way we attacked this town was we went over the bridge already. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's not pay too much attention to these <laughs> details. Details ruining everything. Indeed. We'll be fine. Mm. One thing we forgot to mention is something that a lot of people have been asking for. We, we've been doing like 40-minute 40 episode, 40 episodes before. On Shogun 2, a lot of people asked if we could do one hour episodes, so I asked Evan, and he said, yeah, why not? So now we're doing one hour episodes. <laughs> Let's do it. My poor PC. He can render an hour. <laughs> he doesn't like this heavy performance stuff. But we'll manage. I noticed that you have, like, tons of archers, and they don't. So I feel like this battle is going to be even easier than it looks. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It also, um, it seems that, like, even the small towns have, like, a lot of archery towers as well. So auto resolving probably oh, yeah. would cost me less units than, um... That's true. Finding it myself. Well, I guess we can just rush in and take a couple. And they only have enough units to kind of defend the center of their town. Yeah. If they don't, we can just probably rush in and capture it. I love these, like, archer units. Um, well, actually, all of, all of my units, or most of my units, is like, you've got those, um, uh, instead of the stats, you've got those three things, right? Like the... Yes, what they're bad about. Yeah, exactly. Bad, about them. bad and, and, and supposedly... Archers some... are bad in every way. Exactly. Apparently. Some of them are, are supposed <laughs> to be suck. good, but it's just like, yeah, no these are only bad. No points to archers, oh well. Nope. Anyway, uh, I'll give you my cavalry, and yes. I guess Sounds good. two of these and two of them. You can take a different flank. Uh, is this the gift button? Yep, no. Nope. I'm going to have to close the unit stat panel because it's covering up like half the screen. Okay, what is the best way to approach this time? I think over here might be all right. I guess it depends where the enemy show up. But they have so few troops that it doesn't truly matter. No. Just dump the men here. I'll do an attack along the riverside with your gifted units and get them killed. You're going to leave the cavalry here? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. 
Maybe I'll put them on the other side of the battlefield. Yeah, actually, yeah, you may as well just uh, use them as a an entire some interesting force points to come in. Themselves. For some reason, the interface on mine is very weird. The unit card is in the middle, like the middle left of the screen, rather than the bottom left. So the unit information, and I can't tell why. The unit card, like the information. I, oh, I see. If I have the um, the panel with my army unit cards on it up, then the actual information on the units moves up into the middle of the screen, which is very obstructive. I'm not sure I'm on board with that design. <laughs> right. I actually kind of don't like that it's pinned. I don't want it to stay pinned. Yeah, I always turn to that off in room too. Like you could optionally have the stuff on the left. I just ignored it because I approximately know the stats of all the units already. Yeah, exactly. I think it might be an option. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, so anyway, they've got a unit there. I've got a unit here. So they're all near us. My cavalry are free to storm in. If I tell my cavalry to just go and sit on the middle capture point, let's see if they do anything about it. Let's do some AI tests. Right, as for my regular troops. Oh, do they? That's good. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this isn't the... Well, for me at least, it says the enemy tremble before our superior numbers, like a little event message. Oh, I actually heard that as well, but I didn't think it was They like said it. Actually... Oh, for me it came up as a little thing on the right. That's cool. Our general's under attack, apparently. Is he? What, is what are you doing? Possible? I don't know, he's back here. There is a dead body on the floor by your guy. He's oh, I think you killed a civilian. And the oh. civilian was fighting with your unit. Oh, yeah, because I still have 160 out of 160. Yeah. I, I haven't even someone. looked at the, uh, like, oh, um, uh, yeah, I haven't even looked at all of our stats yet. I probably should have done that as well. Well, I, I've been pretty much ignoring the stats. <laughs> we need stats. I mean, like, right. you can vaguely, you can guess. We've got levy spearmen and levy swordsmen. Oh, wow, those archery towers have longer range than I predicted they would. I guess I could have actually looked at the thing that tells you the range to work that out, but I'm a very busy man. So how are my cavalry doing? Oh, they're walking. That's why they're taking so long. Run. All right, I'm going to sprint them into the center of town, see if the enemy do anything to stop me. Can you capture the enemy towers? Yeah, you just have to stand next to them. Right, well, okay. So you see, there's a, when you mouse over the tower, there's a red circle around it. You have to just stand on the circle. I'm going to attempt to Unfortunately, do that. here, the enemy's heavy infantry are guarding it. And I actually don't want to attack, because all I have are these light swords and light spears, who against the enemy's like legionary cohorts probably aren't going to do very well, especially because we can't flank them. So I'm just going to stand here and distract them. And we've almost captured the town with my cavalry. They might be reacting with those guys who are falling back from you. The enemy approaches. The enemy approaches. Oh, well, they have a spear unit guarding the capture point. The AI has surprised me by actually playing the game correctly. Nice one, AI. Well, in that case, screw that plan. You can keep your capture point. Can't believe we're going to lose this battle. <laughs> Can you bring all of your archers to just fire at this legionary unit? Uh, hold on. What, what, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm shooting at him now, yeah. Because if he can just take him down, we can storm in. My cavalry have actually taken substantial losses from the enemy's towers, so I'm now going to capture those towers. Towers are doing... I seem to remember this, actually, from in Vanilla Rome 2, the towers were really powerful. And in Divide et Impera, the mod, they're really not powerful. <laughs> so I've forgotten how you actually can't play with these towers. Right, I've got one being captured now. Are your cavalry doing work back there? Yeah, I'm just going to take these two towers. I don't know if I have to dismount to capture or not. Right, okay, so now the spear wall is on. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay. Right. I hope you didn't need these cavalry. <laughs> Are they dying? They're getting completely obliterated. I'm going to have oh to fall God. back. These towers are just wrecking them. They've already lost more than half of their troops. That so just, is quite So, bad. there's not much we can do about those towers, they're actually really good. You can see if you can move up to the next tower here. Oh right yes, yeah, so you've, you've dealt with them, okay. Let's rush in and capture that tower then. Looks like the enemy's infantry are coming vaguely this way. We know they've they've dedicated one of their speed units to holding the middle, so you don't have to worry about them. Ooh, looks like you might get a chance to attack their equities with your oh, spearmen. what the hell? Apparently, taking the tower destroys it, you don't actually take the tower. Ah. You might have been, could you click on the tower? Like, if you tell them to move, you click on the tower itself, it burns it down. But if you just stand next to it, it captures it. So no, yeah, I, I, I stood next to it, but it didn't actually take it. Right, so the enemy's equities are going to kill themselves against your freemen. Although they have killed a good number of the freemen as well, actually. It's uh, kind of weird how you've got the, the word, the N word in here. And then you've got... Um, 
Freeman as well. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Is there a message behind this game? Is slavery wrong? On a side note, let's enslave the Romans. <laughs> okay, I got this cover unit taken care of at least. Okay. Man. I'm gonna run away from the enemy's advancing heavy infantry. See, this is what I'm saying. You would, I would lose so much less if I were to... Uh... Yeah, we're already screwing this up. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how to play it. It's so early. I had to get up for this. No, I mean, like, if I <laughs> resolved it, I would have lost a lot less men. Yeah, this, this was an auto-resolve exploitable battle. Uh, the enemy are about to get themselves juicily outflanked. Oh, no, they're not. They're full oh, stupid AI. Stop being good. <laughs> I was going to pull them into a flank attack by the Freeman, but they decided to go back. Are your archers still around? Yeah, I'm around. Just completely bombard those legionaries. Let's just force them to advance. The cavalry. I'm going to leave the cavalry in hiding because they've lost enough already. They're not going to take part in this battle anymore. Okay, we're firing up on those uh, cohorts now. Okay, very good. Let's waste them, boys. Hopefully they'll just take it like men and get killed as a result. Turn off the projectile thing. You can barely even even see unless you like zoomed in. But yeah, it's, it's hard to see the arrows, but it's better. I we think. know what's happening. Yeah. Looks like they're not going to react to this, so we can thin them out a bit. Yeah. yeah. Surprising losses so far. Yeah, it's all right. Just, uh... We might be able to just go and take the capture point because there's just one squad of spears. So with your three squads there. Yeah. All right. We might point. be able to sneakily just capture this. That way we won't have to actually fight their best unit, which will probably save some lives. The AI is reacting really well. They've accepted some decent barricades. The They're turning to face troops. flanks Indeed. as the forces move around. Uh, that's a heavy like spear so infantry far. against my very light here. Uh, heavy spears, oh dear. Can you just draw them away from the capture point and send one squad to take it? I'll, um, I'll lead them down here and then see if I can do that, yeah. Okay, how is this? Man, those are archers are not doing much. I've got them on heavy shot as well. Should I put them on yeah, regular right. shot? Well, I don't really know the difference. I've never used the heavy shot. I always use the generic one. Well, yeah, I mean, the heavy shot, I would assume, does more damage to... But because of how the mechanics work, because the units have health, arrows don't do any damage until the unit's health has been depleted. So the first bunch of volleys don't kill any enemies. Yeah. And once the unit has low health, like the invisible stat, once it takes volleys, the volleys will reduce their health to zero and start killing individual soldiers. Yeah. So true. hopefully the rate at which they die basically will speed up with each volley. So they should gradually appear to get more and more powerful. Looks like the unit in the middle want, doesn't want to follow me, by the way. Doesn't look like it. I noticed there's a blue bar. Oh, that's ammunition. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I thought it was going to be something exciting. I'm so not like, I don't know, even though I feel so great in Shogun 2, in this game, it's like, what the hell am I doing, you know? Like, It's, it's every unit's unfamiliar, you're not sure what the yeah, body unit can do, because exactly. like, you, you've got this unit Levy Freeman, and you didn't think, oh, how can the Levy Freeman hold out for more than 30 seconds against legionaries? Like, you don't necessarily know, yeah, you exactly. don't know how the game's been balanced. It's kind of weird. Well, <laughs> we've killed a good number of them so far, they're shaken. Good. Yeah, they're, dropping yeah, they're going down now. 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 They're going to rout soon, and then they've got medium infantry behind them. So if you've got some arrows left, they'll probably go down faster. Yeah, I got about half. One unit's a little low, but the rest is all fine. Okay, let's have a look at some of our troops. How do they look? I've got it on performance graphics settings, ladies and gentlemen, so it actually looks surprisingly bad. Oh, here we go. He's routing. There are actually some women among my unit here. Really? What the... Uh, Germanic levy is a mix of men and women. It's quite interesting. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. The enemy have rallied their units, have they? That's pretty quick. Ah, uh, did they? Oh, uh, yeah, they've gone back up to eager morale. Their general must have used an ability. Down to forty men. So what? What is this unit anyway? This is a medium melee cap. I think I'll just uh, start running over some men here. Your general still still standing far out of the action. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize I had a general. <laughs> He's just back there, chilling. He's got the best units. <laughs> so what abilities do you have anyway? Steady and war cry. Okay. Oh, interesting. I can set the Freeman up in a spear wall. Gives a lot of bonuses. Plus 100% mass. Plus 15 attack against calf. Plus 15 shield defense. Plus 15 attack against elephants. Plus 25 block chance. 25 out of what? 25%? Hmm. That's 
and not helpful statistic. Let's see how that looks. Set up a spear wall. Your archers are about to kill themselves, by the way. Oh, crap. The enemy are conveniently skirmishing away from your archers, so that's going quite well. Man, this is going super. I'm going to move up a spear wall into this choke point. Swords form up behind. Looks like the enemy are rushing back to defend the center. They must feel threatened. Their legionaries right in front of your men are wavering. <laughs> Go on. They're tempted. They're tempted. Yep, they're going to fight. Finally. Let's see how this goes. Come on, Spears. Destroy those disgusting Romans with their civilization. See, it's weird. I don't know if they're set up in Spear War or not, because the image, like, doesn't really change. I think there's no icon. You have to just look at them. They are in Spear War, because you can see the guys on the ends of the line who aren't engaged are, like, braced. Right, okay. So that's the only difference. It just makes them, like, the front line of troops looks a bit different. Well, we've broken their best unit. Oh, never mind. The image start. lights up when it's actually in, uh, in the... Ah, okay. So their medium infantry are just standing and taking the arrows, and they're falling back. I'll send my light swords to attack. Let's see if we can rout them. In the meantime, let's move up here. So the enemy spears are in such a position that I might be able to sneak into the capture point. She can keep them distracted. Are these guys running? I know so. Oh, I see. It's up there. I was looking on the unit card for a sign that the unit's running, but it's actually just above the unit card. That little bar. Interesting. Let's see what they did there. All right. So we've wiped out the legionaries, or that cohort. So now it's just the squad of spears. My archers are nearly out of ammo as well. Really? Okay. So yeah, it's just the last unit. We might be able to not defeat them. Yeah, if you if put you... your squad nearby, can keep their attention. I'm going around the, the entrance behind them. I was going to stand on the capture point and see how they like that. Sounds good. I'm with my general with as well. Oh, they're moving towards you already. Oh, they've fallen for it. Well, I guess you can advance then. <laughs> what of us are going to get that capture point? Completely wiped out their medium infantry. Right, form up there. I, I wonder if... It doesn't say that if I'm in shield wall... That they move slower, so yeah, they do move slower. Yeah, they, they, can, they, they can't run in shield wall, basically. Yeah, right. Run. Okay. Well, oh, that actually come, looks like they're going to come down to fight me, so I'm going to send my light swords back. I got my general coming over as well. I don't know how far back he is. He's quite far back. You guys, start running in behind him. This. What are they doing? Yeah, yeah, they are coming my way. I've badly positioned myself, but at least I can form a choke point here. I haven't done anything right this fight, so don't, don't feel too embarrassed. <laughs> Can't believe we're playing on easy difficulty. <laughs> right, okay, so a fight's gonna start, so take that capture point. Yep, I'm working yeah, on no, it. Yeah, they're, they're gonna commit to this. They're thoroughly distracted, so you've got as much time as my light spears can hold on for. In fact, they're very light spears. That doesn't sound good at all. I've never seen a melee unit have very light status. Got them in the rear oh, as well. Nice now. rear attack, though. Let's see. They're still confident. Got the place half captured. The question is will it be like in early Rome 2, where capturing the settlement makes you win? Or will it be like in late Rome 2, where capturing the settlement actually just reduces enemy morale, but you still don't win? Because they changed it at some point in one of the patches because everyone hated capturing settlements. I don't know. The enemy are wavering, though. Let's press against them. We can do this. Yeah, I'm sending another unit in from behind as well. They're going down. <laughs> Still has the same crazy nonsensical animation as Rome 2. Praise the gods. Victory is right. moments away. Looks well, like we can actually uh, keep moving rather than in Shogun 2 where it just throws you out of the game. Looks like it. Yeah, we've completely won. So I guess we can get a few more kills, possibly get some experience. Might as well just murder those guys. Yeah, maybe one of your experience will level up. Go Actually, on, murder. Turn. Oh, sorry, is that pausing oh, the entire game? paused it. Yeah, I need to turn down the audio a little bit, actually. <laughs> Too much screaming. Indeed. Oh, they have a Christian church here. Cheeky darkness. Right, looks like we captured the victory point. But nothing in particular seems to have happened as a result. <laughs> Too late in the battle, anyway. Some of those men are actually getting out of there. How is that even possible? They're escaping. Where do they think they're going? You, man. Come on, troops. Get them. Really try. You can really put the effort in here. <laughs> just stab them. It's not that. What's going on? There's just a huge mosh pit. I think all of our men are like stuck together. 
they don't seem to be uh, accepting movement orders at the moment. Go on. I wonder if their actual captain is dead. Then, damn racist man. <laughs> I think we've hunted down the racists. Let's have a look. There's only 16 left, men left in the unit. I don't see anyone looking particularly special among the survivors. <laughs> so we must have got him. Indeed. <laughs> I'm just going to continue they're still, like, they're like, okay, we need to route. There's this huge open plain. Let's route right through the tiny unit of enemy infantry standing <laughs> in the middle of it. That's probably the uh, easiest route to go. All right, come on, chaps. All right. Oh, wait, one. there's one more. Oh, God. Where is... Oh, I see him. Oh, he doesn't want to... Where does he think he's, he's smart. going? He's trying to sneak around the edge. Come here. Right. Hey, oh my god, I got three <laughs> achievements. Three achievements. The ram has touched the wall. The from two Ooh, formation and hammer and anvil. There we go. Decisive victory. Could have been more decisive. Yeah, I probably did, wouldn't have lost anything if I had just unsolved it, <laughs> yeah. but hey, it's fine. Look at those cavalry. They yeah. got wiped out. I'll accept no blame, although it was entirely my fault. Hmm. <laughs> the enemy did have one survivor, so he didn't even get that guy in the end. Oh well. Maybe it was um, one of the other units. Right, so you've got yourself your first settlement. Indeed. Nicely done, Moit. Moit. Thanks, Moit. Um, all right, so... Take down. We lost 388 men. It's not too bad. You'll get them back. Right, so now there's five Probably. damn options. So we can Well, sack. I guess really we want to set it on fire, etc. So we can start racking up our sack count. Probably, although I think I want to the first few points at least. Yeah, we them. also need territory, so yeah. So, yeah, I always found sack and looting to be never useful in previous Rome 2 games because you actually do need to occupy territory, and if you sack it, it costs more to prepare the territory than you get in money. So really, it's if you only intend to go in, sack it, and then leave, <laughs> that it seems particularly helpful. Yeah, I'm just having a look at all the uh, all the options now. I think I'll <clears throat> probably just go for a regular Occupy for now. Seems a bit, okay. it's a bit sad, it. isn't it? Let's but, have it. Yeah. I mean, we came here to kill people, not to just stand near them and tell them to <laughs> obey the law. Right, what is the... Uh, I've got like a little arrow, an up, up arrow, or chevron, I guess, on the um, army that just took that town. I don't know what that means. It probably means their integrity is increasing. Because oh, if you yeah, mouse, mouse over the integrity bar, it says battle 1 plus 10. So yeah, it's, take 12 the, the next integrity turn. is going to go up. I haven't even looked at that yet. Oh, he's, uh, he's leveled up. That's also what's going on. I guess that's what uh, yeah. that is. Uh, to right. Makes sense. So each uh, general has a um, a passive of their own. Sorry, not a passive. A, um, a level up of their own. Like the, You've got the regular skill tree. That's the same for everyone, I believe. But then you've got one that's different for every single general. Ah, exciting. So I also probably should have looked at which general I wanted to use for this battle because I, I mixed the armies together and then I just randomly took this guy and may, maybe wanted to take the other one. Anyway, this guy gets um, um, plus 10% wealth from agricultural and animal husbandry buildings and plus 10% from uh, animal husbandry horde buildings. And next level is more of the same. Hmm, that's okay, I suppose. Um, and then we got melee attack for commanded force. Don't know exactly what that means, but I guess it <laughs> sounds great though. Maxes that out, right? And we got okay, so we got two points. Cool. I'll take it. Um, right. So let me have a quickly look, uh, look at the other general. See what he actually has. Anyway, he has personal influence. Okay. Right. I haven't even looked at my um, my tree yet. My God, this entire episode is going to be oh, my, yeah. my turn, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Right, so oh no, I actually took the um, the town with my um, leader, so that's good. He's the high king, and then we got Emilric. I think he's the one who's in my navy. Then we got Fudimer. Right, so my king doesn't actually have a wife, so I should tell him to get a wife. Um, seek wife. <laughs> Go get a wife, mate. <laughs> come, come on, you're thirty years old. Come on. <laughs> it's time to settle down. Um. <clears throat> That does cost 20 influence, and our influence even isn't even that high, but screw it, he needs a wife. Alright. Um, so you can set people as your companions and stuff as well. I still don't know like what, who you'd want to do that with. I, I don't know exactly how that works, but... 
It's, it's basically like the commissions in Shogun 2. So certain people, you just give them random ranks. Yeah, but it isn't it... Bonuses. Like, do, we, do you want to have certain... Uh, like, do you just want to take anyone as your companion or, or only like particular people? Well, I think in terms of balancing the politics, you want to make give people power who you think aren't going to mess with it. So, so I, I think get my increases. sons and that sort of, like my family. Yeah, because they have the, the gravitas. I know it's called influence now, influence. So I imagine having the higher position gives them an influence bonus. So you probably, you basically don't want someone who hates you to be in massive influence because it causes the civil wars, probably. Right. I guess <laughs> I I'll set uh, Fudimer, who's a statesman, as my um, governor in Frisia because he's a statesman, so I guess that makes sense. But can you have statesmen as your generals as well? or? I think the statesman means it's a member of the available characters who you haven't recruited. Right, okay. So but, statesman, but now yeah, that he's a governor, like could I generals. still recruit him as a general? or no? I think you can, but then he's not a statesman anymore. Right. So he becomes a general, and it says just as his general next to his name. It's the only difference. Okay, well, hold on. Um... God, I'm very sorry it takes so damn long, but so much stuff. <laughs> right, so I just set him as a That's statesman. Yes. Can I still make him a, him a companion as well? It looks like I can, but I don't know if oh. that's going to take away. I guess we'll find out. So this would give him personal influence, recruitment cost, reducement, and money or wealth. Oh, yeah, it looks like I, yeah, because I, I can set my son, or sorry, my brother as a companion as well. So, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Okay. And then we'll set him as companion too. And then I could do other nobles as well. But not candidates. Okay, makes sense. We'll see how that works for now. Um, oh. Actually, apparently we can become... Are you typing or making sentences over there? Apparently we can start a migration <laughs> as well. Did you know that? We can, we can become a horde too. Okay, so you could formally become a horde. Abandon what is legally my territory. And fook off somewhere else. Fook off. If you wouldn't mind, <laughs> so. you I'm trying to do something. Fook off right now. I got a good thing going here in Frisia. Um, right. So I'll, I want to get one more. Are you ready to do your duty uh, screw it. I'll get three more Germanic levy. Get that entire army up. Um, the Germanic levy sucks so much. <laughs> yeah. They Did you do. see them? <laughs> okay. So this building is not available to your faction. It may not give you all the benefits, and it may. Okay. Right. So I want to. Convert this to a different building to the torp cannot build. Oh wow. That's 8.8 K. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's expensive um, <clears throat> And this is I can't Convert this building. I guess I have to convert the main building first or something Maybe I don't know. Yeah, possibly. I guess I'll uh, just repair this for now I don't know if that actually makes a difference. Maybe it has to be repaired before I can convert it. I don't know Okay, anyway, um so I think that's finally going to be my turn. Oh, right, no, I still have an edict to do. Uh, I think, oh, well, at least in the old game, you can do an edict in a fully controlled region. Yeah, they changed that. You can now do it uh, anywhere, as long as you've got a governor there, I think. Oh, okay. Although I don't have a governor in Flevum, yes, I can still do it. Yeah, I can still do it there, which is kind of weird. And I can't do one in the province I've got. You can't issue edicts in a province that do not have a governor assigned. But I just assigned one in... in um... <laughs> no, you didn't. Hold on, let me check. No, I, huh? I, I don't know why I didn't do that, because I... Maybe it takes a turn for the assignment to kind of happen. No, no, because it says it's going to happen in Frisia, even though I'm 100% sure I clicked on Belgica. Well, I guess we'll have to put someone else as a governor there. Right, anyway, so I guess I'll do an edict in Fle uh, Flavum then. Um, experience for all recruits, research rates, public order, army recruitment capacity. Eh... Uh, I'll take, um, growth. Sure, why not? Okay, right. I think that's got to be it, finally. No way. <laughs> I can open my eyes. I have to put my hands on the keyboard. Is this the moment I've been waiting for? Oh, God, I'm still, I'm on minus 11 food as well, which is great. <laughs> you don't need food. I got 26, but you're not having any of that, mate. That's mine. Right, I'm going to build a new building. What have I got? Hunter's Shrine. We don't need religion. Artisan. Well, there's no obvious military building, so I can get more units. Maybe it's the Artisan. Unlocks recruitment of the Nordic Band. Possibly that. Let's try that. 
As for my actual army here, we could do with a few more units. Ooh, I can build warhounds. Let's have one of those. Let's have two of those. That's pretty cool. Nordic levy. Don't have any of this so far. Saxon spears. They're probably better. I'm gonna have to actually bring up the uh, bring up the numbers. Yeah, Saxon spears forever. Okay. Right, so I've blown all my money there, but the real action is over here. It's time to start conquering Britain. Indeed. Oh, that's going to have to be next turn because they have to land, and that takes a turn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Hopefully you're in range to come in as reinforcements if they happen to attack me. Yeah. Which, if they do, it means I'll take the well, turn. I mean, you could just leave because I'm on the land now anyway. I could just go and take it. So, I actually do have a bit of money. I'm going to upgrade my pastures and get yet more food so I can continue to mock your pitiful lack of edible substances. Yeah, I'm losing 10 from that Vicus, the, the new town that I took in uh, Belgica. <laughs> if you untax it, then it gets rid of the food losses for some reason. It basically ignores food use. Right, This diplomacy screen is pretty funky. Hey, Angles, we've got a non-aggression pack and military access. Do you want to ally with me? I actually do. Interesting. Okay, I am going to do this historical alliance then. I'm also going to see if they want to pay for it. They do. No, they don't. Oh, oh. oh I'll just offer a defensive alliance. Can I go into coalition with them? In the old game, if you had similar factions to you, you could just basically annex them by getting your diplomacy really high. I can make them a tributary state, but they don't want to do that. Okay. Never mind. So is there anyone else? Let's just see if I can improve my relations with anyone nearby. Get some trade going. Trade with you. They're not going to have it. I'm not, not really going to press the issue. Trade with you. No, they don't give a damn. Well, I've got my giant army sitting in my capital. So if they do want to come and fight me, then that's fine. I'm still making huge income even with my giant army. So How much are you I'm making? fine. Making 1,100. And I've got two stacks of troops. So I'm obviously quite rich. Yeah. And once I start conquering Britain, life will be much better. And hopefully I can get even more money by destroying their settlements and see if using that bonus ability I have is actually any use whatsoever. So let's just quickly see if there's anyone I need to start throwing into positions. Oops, oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. I've made some random guy. Okay, the guy invading Britannia is now a companion. All right. Him slightly more wealth, etc. Who else have we got? Horsa. Wingelbert. <laughs> Who are these guys? There's some pretty decent looking new generals, but I don't need them at the moment. So what can you do with the candidates? Uh, they're just people who you can select from when you recruit a new general. Right. Those yeah. are the choices you'll get. Je pense. Let's see if I can do an edict. That guy, you know, he's not governing it. Never mind. I think that's all. I'm going to keep my turns short because I'm very impatient. You may still assign a provincial governor. Okay, I'll do it. Fine. <laughs> How exactly does this menu work? Let's see. These guys look pretty loyal. Okay, Wigbert. I think I've done it. Yes, okay. Now I can assign an edict. Army recruitment. Research rate and public order. That could be handy. Unit experience. Or construction cost. I'll just take the uh, research and public order because that's going to be useful without having to think about it too much. And let's continue. All right. Let's see what the AI are up to. Will they bother to challenge our authority? Forta. I hope the Vikings will probably just um, fight among themselves. I don't know if they're all actually allied or anything. Because maybe they'll just fight each other and not bother us for a while. Who knows? Western Roman Empire, are they going to take revenge for your capture of their territory? Oh. This is the question. Oh, hello. Just entered a, uh, an army in there. What is this? They want to resist. That's How inconvenient they? because their troops are too good. <laughs> we can't beat them. Oh, well. We'll see what we can do. We'll be fine, I'm sure. I, I like to think that the Western Roman Empire would have just had, like, no troops on any of its borders, and that was going to be their main problem. So I guess they do have a few troops. What's it? Four... No, five. Counting is difficult. Oh my god. My uh, high king couldn't find a wife. <laughs> he must be very undesirable. Yeah, couldn't find a, a single woman he's a who king. would marry the king. 
Infinite oh money for life if you do that. It doesn't matter how bad in bed he is or how horrible he is. It's, it's better than anything else you're going to get. I'll marry your king. <laughs> Send him over here. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay, so my army is full now. It still uh, has to take a few turns to replenish those goddamn horsemen that you got murdered. But it's me? What, <laughs> me? It was not me. They, they decided to die. Those bolt wounds that they took were perfectly survivable. They're actually just deserting. Oh my god, I am gonna have a lot of issues of money. I'm already only down to 483 income. <laughs> you gotta start uh, going to do some pillaging to get some cash. Go over to a Roman settlement, just pillage it, and then occupy it so you don't get any food problems. It's the barbarian way. It is indeed. Well, you can make four units a turn here. Sweet. Um, I mean, I do want to take more of the uh, province. I can take, or I can attack uh, Augusta Treve Treverorum this turn. Oh yeah. But um, that is a like a big town. So. Yeah, it depends what's there. Something's going on in. Uh, you can see there's a battle going on at uh, <laughs> Ubazis, just to the east of there. Ubers. Oh yeah. Who there are is. these? Uh, who are these factions? It's the Alawans oh. fighting the Vandals. It's pretty cool. Looks like you're gonna get a new neighbor. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, because my army in um, Flavum is very small right now, so I'm somewhat worried that someone's gonna come and attack and I'll be wrecked or something. Nah, nah, they wouldn't dare. It's only hard difficulty. <laughs> right, um, I guess I'll start moving towards Duro Corortum. I also need to know if I can make any age or um, yeah agents. How does one do that? It's uh, next to the Recruit Generals button. You have to click on a settlement. And then there's a thing that says Recruit Agent to the left of your faction button. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, okay, I can't make any X. I need Market Stalls, Warrior Shrine, or Chieftain's Hold. Okay. Um, do you replenish your men when you're in enemy territory? Oh, I don't think so, in general. I would assume not, no. Okay, well, in that case, let's move to the border right here. For the tribe. <laughs> and we'll go and attack Doro tribe. Next turn. Nice. I don't like about this game that like everyone starts with like nearly two full stacks basically. Whereas in like Shogun 2 you start with like five units so you have to build up. Like you start with massive battles immediately. There's no, <laughs> no small That's because start. this the game is pandering to those filthy casuals who want the massive battles, unlike true progressives like you. Yeah. Who apparently. want to make your own fate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have an issue of income soon, I think. Anyway, um... I could always give you some money, because I am filthily <laughs> rich, but of course... Yeah, what are you gonna call yourself now? Price. It's not Koki uh, King What's the anymore, name of it? this current... It's, 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 I think it was Talents in Rome 2. I don't know if it's still Talents. Not it doesn't Denari. say what they are. I have no idea. Um... What are I... Some unknown currency unit. Yeah. I guess maybe it is still Roman currency of some kind. Is there any tool tip that mentioned what it was called? Not a clue. Oh, I don't see it. Well, I'm going to have to uh, hold back on giving myself a formal title. This makes no sense, by the way, if you haven't seen our Shogun 2 Let's Play. <laughs> in there, I was the Koku King in order to celebrate my vast wealth, or lack thereof. So in this game, I need a new title to celebrate my actual wealth, because this time I actually do have some money. <laughs> Usually I rely on Donkey to uh, carry me through these co-op games. <laughs> I just ask him for money and units the whole time, and I don't really pay much attention. So this is probably going to be the same. So you better get some money soon, Donkey. Indeed. I also just realized I had one guy with seven loyalty last turn, now he's... Uh, sorry, nine loyalty last turn, now he's seven. Uh-oh. <laughs> because he's more influential than the ruler. How'd that happen, happen even? Yeah, it's like the, uh, the upstart general's penalty you get in Shogun 2. Yeah, but he's level one, and my king is level two. Ah, but the, the influence level is separate to their level. Oh. It's like another stat that they have. So what, and I think it's based vaguely on like how many battles they've won. He, he, that so guy that guy who went and just won that fight probably gained orders. influence and is now more influential than your Yeah, but that, that's my king. That's why it's weird. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, Don't know. So. You know, maybe he did something very nice in Flevum. Uh, oh, right. Of course, influence that stat. So he's got 14 and that other guy. Because I, I think I lost some because I tried to get him married and he didn't actually succeed in getting a wife. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's pretty awkward. I can see why people would uh, not feel as persuaded by him after that. Yeah, this guy's got 35 um, influence, so he's, yeah, he's higher. Okay, well, anyway, I still need to have someone governing Belgica. You already have the maximum number of governors. Well, I want him to cover Belgica. Why can't I just... I can boot him out, but then you'll probably dislike him. You have to fire him. him, make him angry, then rehire him. I guess that's what you have to do. Uh, I guess I'll find out if he dislikes me for that. Yeah, minus one. But I guess if I put him back in, then that should work. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, although I can't do it now, because I guess I have to wait one turn. Okay, anyway, um, so I've moved that. I'm sticking next to Kamalobloom. And then you attack it next turn, and... Yep, we'll take down those pesky Romans. Let's do it. All right. I'm eager for battle. Oh, you may still assign a provincial governor. Yeah, I know. Uh. I don't want to do <laughs> the one next turn, so screw you, game. Uh, accept. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Rome, total admin. <laughs> Social climber, achievement unlocked. Oh, I've just got a, uh, a dilemma. Political obstruction. Blah, blah, blah. One of my candidates has been blocked from office by my opponents. I can pull some favours, get the guy appointed and lose influence. I can use a decree and lose influence from my ruler, which is probably always a bad idea. Or I can forget it and I lose 4% of control. I've currently got 60%. All these new stats are confusing. I've got 56% yeah. power, 58% dominion, and 60% control. All these words are like synonyms of each other, but they're different numbers. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I wonder it's what really the consequences annoying. of these are. I mean, we did need a more detailed political system, but I guess it just needs to be detailed in a clear way, like clear exactly what's going on. So... I don't know who Hengeist is. I think he's the guy I assigned governor, and I'm not interested in him having influence, so I'm going to pick that option. So dominion faction is a measure right. of your influence over your faction, your power over the people. It is de determined by the total influence of your family members versus that of non-family members. Combined with yeah. control, it defines your family's overall power. So that's the same thing in Rome 2 they had, which was called influence in Rome 2. Whereas what they've now called influence used to be called gravitas. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> yeah. to the confusion. So you used to have a combined gravitas of your faction with your influence, and having influence gave you faction-wide bonuses. So I guess dominion and power are now other things on top of that. Right. Oh, no, domin dominion is what they used to call it. Well, whatever. Let's ignore that and stick to the war aspect. Oh, yes. Of Here war. we go. Oh, God. So we're going to attack the settlement. It's actually surprisingly well defended. Yeah. Oh, they've got damn heavy. There's just nothing we can do about heavy infantry, which is quite annoying. It's all right. That's the mystery units. They've got a boat. You can take care of that boat, I assume. With You've got loads of boats. have got uh, light marauders and Frankish marines. Oh, Germanic light marauders and Frankish They've got marines. a single squad of Roman light marines. Yeah, I'm I'll sure you can deal out. with them. As for the rest of them, maybe we should quick save. Just in case it crashes. I oh, quick saving doesn't make it crash. Okay, there we go. Uh, Although, yeah. actually... Can they? They might only be able to hold out for one turn. I could siege them and fight a regular battle. Oh no, it's thirteen turns. Okay, never what the mind. Hell? Thirteen turns. That's a massive siege time. That uh, I wonder if they took away siege attrition because if they didn't, that's going to be ridiculous. Yeah. Play battle, please. <laughs> yeah, I think they, it's still there actually. I think um, I was thinking about that sort of thing. Like, I think they um, they removed uh, being able to move general or units without a general because of that sort of thing because otherwise you could just have one unit siege a town and your army in reinforcement range and then only one yeah. unit would take attrition yeah and uh, the yeah, rest of the army wouldn't that. <laughs> that sort of thing i think yeah uh, i just noticed the guy i just picked the option to get rid of the influence was for was the guy leading this army so i hope that hasn't destroyed their army integrity or anything mm -mm. we'll see i thought it was the guy i was appointed governor I'm so I'm too unfamiliar with this period of history to be able to easily distinguish between the names. Like to me, they're just all on undistinct Germanic Saxony names. Yeah, indeed. Oh, and to sort of work out who these people are. So Hengist is my commander in Britain, the guy who will pretty... probably rebel once he realizes that he can just take Britain for himself. But let's ignore that for now. Water looks all right, weird. so he can deploy wherever he like. Let's have a look at those towers. It, okay, it's actually the same town we just fought in by the looks of it. Like the same town model, but just plopped in a different landscape. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. So there's no particularly good way to advance without being attacked by the towers. So let's just go from where I started here. So let's have a quick check of my units. I've got some light spears as opposed to your very light spears. So hopefully they'll perform slightly better. And I've got lots of archers, so let's try and use those to our advantage. 
I've got lots of Nordic band who look absolutely awful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I hope they can't hear me from up here. Got the little tiny shields. Yeah, they're they're not going to do anything. I don't think they have five melee attack. Like their their stat for melee attack is so low it doesn't actually appear on the bar. Like there's not even a, a sliver of yellow for their stats. <laughs> so they're basically just nothing. Like if a gust of wind blows, they'll be going down. The general looks pretty beast though. Let's have a look at our general. Yeah, his unit looks pretty cool. All right, here's my uh, ships. Ah, the enemy marines have deployed right next to me. I wonder if they're going to land here and I can take them out. Actually, they're probably just going to go and land inside the town. Hey, archers, do you want to rush to the coast and fire at them? Let's see if this works. Meanwhile, I don't see any enemy infantry guarding the approach. I know there's a few skirmishes. I'm going to begin the advance of my forces in general. I have a tier 2 unit in here. A Lucky man. Drakkar dragon ship. A dragon ship? Yeah. That sounds pretty useful. Well, the enemy are advancing out towards me with some squads. Should be okay. Oh, they've landed right in front of me. Okay, archers. <laughs> Can I swamp them with arrows? I said my general to deal with their marines. Archers, hit them hard. These archers hit them hard. Ah, uh, the archers did killed one guy. <laughs> a volley of 320 arrows. That's Poor show. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay, my general's unit should be able to take out that marine squad. Archers, you can come back to fight the main body of the enemy, who are currently advancing right towards me. I'll land around the same uh, place, by the way, because I like my okay. army is not strong enough to really do a flanking attack. Very good. It looks like the enemy are going to just form up in front of me, which is perfect. So I'm going to do what you did in the last battle and try and deplete their heaviest infantry using the archers the before we engage. Our ally. No. <laughs> no, they are not. Oh, this is my general. He's in battle with the enemy's marines. Oh, this should be good. Let's see. It says combat even, despite our massive numerical advantage and having them completely surrounded. So I guess these guys are pretty good. Yeah, you're a uh, heavy melee infantry there, a medium melee infantry. Yeah, come on guys, take them down. Kill a few at all, Don't have yeah. any abilities. More we'll shield wall, a bit late for that. Brace, a bit late for that as well, okay. Come on. Oh, Watch this, got cavalry, uh, oh, Yeah, I just, just camp, spotted though. that too late. Didn't need to be dead already. Skirmishes. Oh, the skirmishes aren't on skirmish mode. Uh, I did default to skirmish mode. Ah, the cavalry decided to give up on their attack at the last second. I'm saved. skirmish mode. Okay, let's reform. What are they doing? They're sending forward their general. But you just like accidentally wrecking his army because you've already killed like two of his units. Just I just my archers there. are just set up firing at them. Yeah. They're advancing <laughs> towards me, getting wrecked by the archers and falling back. Yeah, that's <clears> great. It's going perfectly, really. Enemy right, these skirmish squads are on ammunition, so let's get rid of them. This squad still has ammo. I'm going to move them up. It'd be very unfortunate cavalry. if you lose your general now. Yeah, I really hoped he would survive this, being a badass Saxony type man. Oh, both of your units, man. or both your general and his general, or his um. <clears throat> Marine units, both tier one units. It's kind of weird. You'd think the general would be like a tier three or something. I think so. I'm going to send a squad of light, light melee infantry to support the general. Looks like the enemy are getting a bit more serious here. The equites. Oh, they're going to ram my light infantry. No. They're, they're going. They're as good as dead. Oh god. Dude. Luckily, I can hit them with the spears right away. Oh my god. Oh, they, they got oh completely my wiped god. out. That cavalry is strong. Zero as well. resistance to the enemy's attack. That's a scout equite as well. It's pretty really low Jeez, level you unit. Fight. Shield wall, fight them. You fight them. Hey, I'm, fight them. I'm nearly here to help now. Oh crap. Excellent. You. I should have flank attacked them there. Okay, very good. The enemy are going to be rapidly outflanked. Fire all my archers, the enemy's heaviest unit. This squad, attack the enemy in the back. Okay, you've got the marines defeated. Good. The enemy's cavalry are not being defeated by my spearmen, actually, as I thought they would be. Never mind. My skirmishes. Okay, the uh, unit, this. your general and stuff are free to go now. Yep, they're coming for a flank attack. Battle's turning in our favor. Good. Gained the upper hand, apparently. Losses have been quite large. Well, this enemy horseman did very well against my spears. They actually killed more of me than I did of them. Somewhat disappointing. 
Sorry, I'm just testing out the drawing skills. Okay, I'm landing minus now. <laughs> Pretty sure I could have gotten here earlier, but I forgot I only moved them so far. Oh, I just lost a squad in the middle of the field. Okay, you attack their skirmishes. General, we need you in the center. Ooh, I got me yeah, that's a medium axe infantry. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that sounds good. Skirmishes about to get hit by enemy cavalry. I'm trying to fall back behind my own spearmen. <laughs> oh, my super light infantry are being destroyed by their legionaries. I don't think there's anything I can do. I'm coming in now. I've got a squad of 39 spearmen. I need to get my general to fight their legionaries. This squad... Yeah, just chase their skirmishes away. Oh, this is going surprisingly poorly. Oh god, chain route starting. Oh Hey, do your men want to finish this battle for me? <laughs> I'm almost out of strength. I'm coming. My men are very small units though, but if I can attack them in the rear, that, that'll be good. This is very good. Yeah, the heavy infantry completely obliterate mine without taking any losses. Yeah, that, so that's... I think we can't rely on traditional line fighting with these sorts of very poor units. Yeah, that's a big difference compared to, like, Shogun 2, where an Ashigaru unit could take on a samurai relatively yes, well. Yes, like, they would last for a while. Oh god, here we go. I'm about to engage with them as well now. It's very bored. I think I've only got light and skirmishing units left, so I'm going to have to do Operation Distract and just run away and maybe draw off some of the enemy's heavy infantry for a bit. Now, what else do I have that's not dead? My general is going to have to fight to the death thing with your troops. I do have a light squad fighting with the enemy skirmishers, so they might actually just be able to win. But I've also got my archers. They might be in melee. Let's pull them out. Two squads of archers. Battle. Well, we might lose this battle. <laughs> It's not guaranteed victory at this point. If these two squads are, they're basically dead. Okay, they're useless. I'll form up my useless units away from the enemy. Possibly you can rear attack. Oh no, there's only their legionaries to fight all my useless units. Come on, finish them off. Oh, they're gone. Archers. Shoot the legionaries. Right, let's have a look at what's going on on the moor. My general is still alive, I think. Yeah, he's still, still fighting on. on. Some of the enemy's units are starting to fall back. Oh my god, there's oh, no, they're a not, massive they're not, melee they're, they're unit coming in. They're just quitting the engagement, they haven't routed. Ah, there's one squad routing of the enemies. One of the enemy's heavy spears units has finally gone. My bows are just about to run out of ammo, but they've done good damage so far. Our men run from the enemy. Oh, they've cavalry attacked my light forces. Oh, one there. Two of their the AI units. is reacting so well to my movements. They're, oh, um, yes, my, my rubbish, very light melee infantry managed to rout enemy cavalry unit. Although they themselves are now not receiving orders yet. Yeah, they've broken and they're breaking into the enemy settlement. Enemy general is dead. Nice. We're uh, breaking everything here. There's only one unit left. Yes, useless units. Now's your time to shine. Advance. <laughs> Finish there. Use the whip. All right. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, Somehow. God, I lost everything. I'm actually but glad, like... My general's my, still alive. If my units weren't there, I think this could have turned into a very bad ending. I would have I would have lost without that attack, because I am I have no heavy infantry left. I have a couple of hundred very light infantry. And the rest like the, are uh, out of ammunition skirmishes and archers at half unit strength. Oh my god, yeah, you still had a lot of uh, skirmish, I didn't even realize. I have tons of these skirmish troops who are just running away from the legionaries. Yeah, you kept them busy yeah. for a long time, though. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely like the axe unit. That's a pretty strong unit. Excellent. So, did we, yeah, we won, right? It's just you have to click the end. I battle. think the route phase is just happening automatically. Yeah, so okay. End. I like that one, actually. victory. Oh, God. Semper Fi achievement unlocked. Indeed. Interesting. Well. I, I do like that, um, the smooth transition into the end battle phase. And especially yeah, now in the co-op that you can still keep going. You can kill more of the units as well. I like that. That's very good. Let's have a look at the stats. <laughs> all of my useless units, well, they got a few kills, but they themselves were wiped out. I lost all of my mainline spears. I lost half my general squad. To this. Overall, it doesn't look very good. Well, at least you took the time. That's something. I did. This I, better be worth it. And I didn't lose anything, so, you know, whatever. Take them down. Pyrrhic victory, I lost... 1, oh, right, yeah, you can do the take on warriors. Troops. I love that take on warrior stuff. It's like you replenish your men, but, ah, can I? but you lose a bit of experience. 
well, I, I definitely need to take on some men because my army has been all but wiped out. Oh god, yeah, that's really low. Holy so shit. we've got sack, liberate, loot and occupy, or oh, raise. I think I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll keep my navy here for the moment, and uh, just in case they have another army hanging around or something. Yeah, they might do. So let's see. Hmm, I can liberate Britain as a faction who will become my military ally. <laughs> Interesting, but it's not what I want. <laughs> So if I occupy, I get plus four percent unit replenishment, which may actually be very useful. How much money? I only get a th well less than a thousand for looting. So, <clears throat> there isn't it? It's sacking we're supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the first few provinces might be useful to just like take though. We need to take a little bit of an empire. Yeah. So we've defeated the enemy's general. To tell me, very good. I also think we should end this episode soon. So whenever you're ready, we'll just uh, end it there. And yeah, I think we'll one. be fine. So I'll just repair. Repair everything in this town, get it up to snuff. So this army is going to be, well, until the end of time before they're ready to fight again. Wow, Londinium is in a very not historically accurate. Oh, no, it is a historical application, so I've got the I've got the camera angle weirdly. There we go. So, yeah, I'm hoping that Britain will now have very little defending it. So <laughs> even my sucky forces might manage to defeat them. The only thing I can recruit here is Nordic Levy. It's actually better than all of the other units I have, so I'll be doing that. <laughs> God, yeah, those Nordic Levy got wrecked by that calf charge, though. Would that, I like that, though. It means the calf are actually somewhat good in this game. Yeah, you can still shock cavalry attack spears. You just yeah. might lose your unit as well, so both sides lose. Oh, my God, yeah, these, these calf of mine have a charge bonus of 220. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's pretty crazy. It sounds like a high number. My uh, infantry have a charge bonus of five. <laughs> That's quite a difference. And they have an ammunition of one, must have javelins. So, this has been a, a hard fought start to this campaign. I'm uh, definitely enjoying the game, though, that's for sure. It's going, it's going what could be described as well. And it's yeah. been some good fights. So, we'll be seeing more of our campaign to destroy all of Europe, slash, make it pagan, the true religion. Indeed. Next time. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching the first episode of our uh, co op let's play, and we'll see you then. Goodbye. See you in a bit.